hello everybody welcome back to my channel it's angela and it's wonderful be to be back here again with you so thank you for taking a, a little break uh, um, to do some crafting i'm sure you're all um, dying to get back to the crafting as i am well um, i still need to finish off just one or two little tutorials for this christmas journal um, and then I'm going to write all my memories in it. But I uh, thought I'd share those with you today because next week um, I want to start with our new journal. So I'm very excited. If you haven't seen that already, that was my Baking Bliss journal kit and I'm etching to get going on that. We're going to be doing a bit of an interactive thing on my Facebook group with that. And I'll share a little bit more of that next week. But on Sunday, I will do a flip through of everything that we've done here so far right so got a lovely quick and easy thing because i was very excited i got another um one of these envelopes uh, with a very pale green background um here which you know i love and you know i don't go to my eye appointments purely because they keep sending me these reminders and i just love these envelopes <laughs> so i'm sorry spec savers but uh you know carry on sending them i'm not ready to uh, lose out on my envelopes at the moment right so i'm going to use these go and grab any one of your junk journal um you know sorry junk journal your junk mail envelopes that you might have i'm going to give you some approximate measurements but it doesn't matter this one has got a flap if yours doesn't have a flap um it's very easy to put one on and i'll probably show you that shortly um i'm going to be used putting this into my second signature I've got this page open with the pink dots and the lovely lacy paper, which I adore. Um, and that is uh, not far off. It's on the second half. So we've got the middle spread there, which we did. Um, we've got the journal, the back of that middle spread. And then we had the, this page and then this lacy page and then a pink page. It doesn't matter where in your journal you're going to put this. It doesn't matter what theme you're going to use. Just come and join us, have some fun and follow along. Right. So as I said, I'm going to just put this signature to the side over here. and going to look at this little mailer that I've got here. Now, if your mailer has not got the flap, on it still up I, I prized this open very carefully it doesn't look great but i will be covering it anyway so i'm not worried about that but if it doesn't and you've slit your mailer like that all you need to do is take a piece of paper that is um, a little bit wider than a flap and that can be any width this is i'll tell you it's one and a half inches wide or, or about four centimeters go and cut it about six centimeters or two inches there or thereabouts just so that you can stick a little extra bit on the inside here and then make a false flap all right you do need a flap for this um this particular project so um that's how I would go about it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter this a little bit. Um, I'm going to give you some measurements here, which I have put down. Um, the length of the full envelope is nine and a, and a quarter inches, and it is four and a half inches that way with the flap closed. Uh, that equates to approximately, guys, and remember these are approximate, uh, 23 and a half centimeters that way and 11 and a half centimeters that way all right the flaps are not included in those measurements right so what i've done is i've taken my bone folder and i have just measured one and a half inches from the top here the flap is going to be um it doesn't matter how you do this so one and a half inches down or four centimeters and i've just um met use my ruler and my bone folder just to um, etch in a little fold line there okay so that's what I've done um, and you just fold that over just make sure it's nice and firm and there you have it okay so we're gonna have a bit of a flap on the back uh, the reason is this is too long um, and we're going to have it like this all right so go and have a look at your pages we are going to use that flap so don't cut it off um, and we will be folding that back on itself over there all right so there we go that's the base of it and i'm going to put it on this side right so back to this I have been using up some of the scraps and things in my um, box, my basket there. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to work on the front here. Now, 
Um, I want to put a little bit of a tag in this way. So before I do anything, I think what I should do is um, just make a little bit of an opening on the opposite side to the flap now. So I'm going to use my craft knife. Um, this is not really a craft knife. <laughs> this is a very old uh, Stanley knife. And these days you don't even get them in the stainless steel. You get them with a, a black plastic sort of covering to house the blade. I'm just going to take a sliver off here, like really thin. Okay, so now we have an opening on the side. Okay, and we have an opening on that side, but don't worry about that, we'll get to it. Okay, so let's put that back. Close the blade, and there we go. Right, now this is bugging me here. Why have I got this little... There we go, that's better. Did I mark it? Oh, that's terrible. Okay, so we have an opening here on the right-hand side. Um, like that and now I'm going to put a little piece of lace on here I'm going to put this piece of lace on the edge just on the edge here like that and then I'm going to take I took my uh, silent night freebie page that I um, had in my Facebook group this is a music page and I had a um, piece of one over and piece of another that I've used for something else and I'm going to end up putting that over there like that all right, so just to have a little recap here, you're thinking, how did she get that window? If you knew, you know, um, I'll show you quickly. It's just a case of taking something like a pencil. I line my paper up. I cut this piece out first and then I hold it with my fingers. I lift it up and I just look where the window is and I make some marks on the paper you can this is slightly higher that's slightly wider but i don't want to catch the white bits there and i just do it by hand i haven't used a die cut machine to do this i find that it's easier doing it by hand so just hold your page lift this up and gauge it so when you see here i'm looking here and i'm thinking okay it's there and i go like that and i move along then I just join up those lines and I cut it out with my craft knife. So there we go. I've inked a little bit around there and on the sides. Okay, right, let's put the pencil away. Now we're going to take the fabric tack. So I want to just get this. But I think what I need to do first is just make sure this lace, I wasn't quite sure I had it the right length. I don't think I do. So I just want to make sure that I do have it the right length. And it's just a little piece here at the bottom. Okay, so we just cut that straight. There we go. I hope you guys have had a wonderful holidays so far, whatever you are celebrating. Um, I've just enjoyed, a, a, I won't say I've been relaxing, but because um, there's lots to do always, especially when you've got a new kid. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm not rushing my feet off. So, you know, it's been a steady flow. Of things I've had to do of course tidying up is one of them now, I don't know if you do celebrate Christmas when you guys take your Christmas tree down but I tend to like it down before I start the new year so I'm probably going to end up doing that um, towards the end of this week myself um, but when do you guys tend to take down your Christmas decorations and things I'd love to know I'm sure everybody's got different reasons, but I like to hear what people have to say about that. So let me know in the comments when you do that, if you celebrate Christmas or any other holiday. And I'd love to learn about other people's holidays as well. So do leave me a, a, a note there. Right, now I'm going to just stick this down and I'm not doing any sewing with this piece. So I'm going to get the glue as close as I can to the edge. All right, so now I want to make sure that I get this positioned well. So we want to start here at the bottom. And the good thing about this fabric tack, which is what is in my bottle, um, it just gives you those seconds just to maneuver where you want it to be precisely. Um, so if I need any of my lace, there we go. I think that's about where I want it. Okay. 
Right, so that's coming along perfectly. I'm just going to trim this little bit off here. There we go. Now you can take your um, Distress Ink too. Um, and anything, I'm not a fan of the white, you know. Uh, not when I'm using like an antique or a vintage looking, trying to create that look. So I'm just going to take the ink and um, get that lightly dusted let's say on the edge there so there we go right so we're starting and it's coming along already so we've got a bit of that going there you if you've got any music paper it makes a, a really adds a lovely element to any design okay so we've got that little bit there um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some decorations on here. I love that now. You can see I don't, I normally end up covering that, but I love that it's ever so softly green. Right, now I have got one of my little sentiments, spread kindness and love wherever you go. Gosh, this is sort of a, um, one of my daily mantras, really. <laughs> um, kindness is the new black, everyone. That's what I think. You can never be you know too kind and everybody deserves some kindness don't you think everybody right let's get this up towards the top here like that okay i'm happy with that i don't want to cover the silent night bit too much right now i have been fiddling in what's left of my little fussy cuts there and i'm going to just and i might actually just tuck i think i wanted this one tucked slightly under so let's just grab my other glue here this is my um art glitter glue and it's great for this kind of thing can't go wrong where my other one has got a fine nozzle but nothing like the fine nozzle on this so if you are new to this and you're thinking uh, what's the what was with all these glues, Angela? Um, well, this one is great for this, and it's a lovely PVA type glue, but it's um, it's not quite like PVA. Um, but let's the other one is more for fabrics and stuff, um, and I use it a lot for when I'm binding books. Now I don't mind if this comes over. Maybe what I should do is just chop the end of that one off and then I don't need to worry about it too much. I think I'll just cut that one off a little bit and then I can stick that back down. And then we can have it just poking over there a little bit because that always looks great. I like to integrate things and sort of blend them together. So I'm happy with that. Okay. Now these little die cuts, they come from... Um, Sizzix. and if you want the details for that you'll find all of that on my amazon favorites tools list so you'll get all the details there and the links for those depending where you live are well all, <laughs> everywhere um they're in my um video description box so if you just click on the little arrow below the video if you're on an ipad or a phone obviously you can't do that or computer you can't do that on the tv um, you'll get all the details of all the links I use um, and the information that I'm trying to pass on to you about what I'm doing and various things. Okay, just in case you're not sure. Right, I'm going to just get this here and I'm trying to get it so I don't cover those words. So there we go. And then just this little silver glitter one. Because, you know... And the holidays are definitely about a bit of bling. Okay, so we've got that just to give it a bling it up a bit. I got that right? I think so. Um, now, I did have a bit of a button, but I'll get to that at the end, I think. Let's, let's just put that button here so that I don't forget. Let's hope I don't forget. Okay, if I do, please shout loud. Okay, and then I had something as well at the bottom. Um, using up my little scrappy bits of ribbon. And I do love this one. Um, it's one of my faves. Okay, um, right. Got a f um, some other little bits here, really. And fussy cut out one of these little things. Because when I was making cards, I trimmed off these edges. So I've kept those um, from there, from the mini pages. Right, so I've got three little bits here, um, and I'm going to uh, 
put those over there and um, why is it that I don't have the right length over here I think it was me trying to oh it's because of the roses they go here Angela what are you thinking I'm thinking well I'm sure I had that worked out properly okay so let's start with this one and again we're going to just get it a little bit over the window which I love I hope you guys are all excited to get your Christmas journals finished and I have seen the most beautiful um, journals that people have shared in my Facebook group really thoroughly enjoyed all your projects guys um, it's just amazing to see um, people's creativity and share things with everyone I, I really enjoy it so um, thank you to all of you that participate in that and also very importantly thank you to the people that don't necessarily participate but support everybody even myself with their lovely comments of encouragement and kindness so you know you are just as as, as amazing as as the contributors as well you're just contributing in a different way you know so and don't be afraid to contribute because nobody's going to have anything nasty to say at all and um, people are just so kind and supportive there so you know don't be afraid at all i'm just trying to get this and i don't want it to go over the edge so of my page there so just getting that all over right it's time to just i think i just let this stay open a little bit too long and i need to just put in my little um glue pin right oh i didn't quite get that one stuck but that's okay there we go there we go right and a little bit of green so we got a little bit of green here this is some cardstock i've had for eternity um i uh used to have a, a mountain of cardstock literally uh, well not really but you know it was a huge almost like a meter high um it was a lot and um i've managed to work my th way through it now and there are some bits <laughs> some colors that you use more than others aren't there so um i've had to now eventually start ordering in some which is quite something for me so i feel i'm down to about 20 centimeters or you know about eight inches from <laughs> what was about i don't know how many inches in a, in a meter okay and then i'm going to just put this one a little higher i think wasn't quite the intention but there we go right so we've got all of that doing its thing and then i've just got my little roses that i'm going to stick on on the end here and i think because there's fabric underneath here i'm going to go back to my um three in one or fabric tack can't remember what i've put in that bottle now um it's one of those i've got both okay so there we go we just put that down and that can do its thing right so the front is done i'm quite happy with that and all of that was from scrappy bits can you believe it um and this was a bit that i had torn off a piece and i just thought well let's use that up so there we go and i quite like how the pinks have come through with this lovely vintage page here right so let's get to the back now now um what i want to do here is i'm going to cover the end bit here and i've taken another this is not even the same music sheet this is another one um, i'm going to end up sticking that over there like that but before i do that i need to do this bit over here so what i've got is again uh, just took a piece of a page that i had um, and this one had some roses on the end here um, here it is i think let me grab it it had this piece uh stuck on here somehow i can't remember how now <laughs> no that's that's me all over i think it was like that something like that or was it like that oh, there we go it was like that all right and i've cut off a piece here and i'm going to use this for something else i just love those roses okay so i have i'm going to put this piece in here like that it does go all the way to the top that's not necessary but um it was before i thought about what i was going to do so i'm going to stick this down here and i thought this would be a good piece because you can make some notes over here so I'm going to just take my um, 
art glitter glue again and I'm going to just it's not playing ball today we'll go back to the other one um, and I'm just going to get this stuck down now there is an opening here on this side which is on the opposite this side here uh, once you just put a very thin piece just on the end there which is not going on very straight, is it? And then I'm going to leave a bit of a gap there just because there's a gap here and um, because I'm going to put a tag in there. Okay, so there we go. With any luck, I've got that right. Yes, so let's just get that right onto the edge here. There we go. Now the bit that's important is to get it to the edge and on the bottom like that i'm not really worried about the top too much okay so there we go we've got that all done i'm just going to use my bone folder just to make sure it's lying nice and flat there okay now what i wanted to do is um i want to have this as a little bit of a fabric sampler type looking thing but i thought because i folded this down um, I'm going to, I found a little bit of this tool that had some um, snowflakes on it. I hope you can see that. So um, I'm going to just put this underneath here like that. So you can make your little notes or stick a beautiful picture. I've got a lovely picture of my children when they were young and my, and my niece and nephew. Um, and they're sitting on a sofa, um, you know, sort of in a, the smaller ones on the side and the bigger ones and whatever i'll show you one day i'm gonna that would be a beautiful one to put in here so if you've got a, a special photograph and you can have the snowflake these sort of snowflakes coming down on them another item you could use is tracing paper or vellum that you or you know that you want to maybe stick snowflakes on if you've got them or other fabric whatever you have um if this is just what i had so i thought oh yeah i can still see through it and i quite like that okay so i'm going to um just catch that uh, at the top there like that and then that's going to be a nice um flip up like that so that's what i've got to do there so i'm going to just take my um my glue again and i'm going to just put some glue um quite thickly over this bit here and also right to the end here as well okay um so i want to make sure i get it uh, plenty of it there where i need to stick this um chill down i think it's chill right so let's just make sure yeah and i've got it straight have i yeah okay so we can get that stuck down nicely as well okay here we go now i'm sure we have a lot of um or you must have a lot of photos from christmas's past or um you know ones that you've had from this christmas and we want to save them um I do, I've, I, especially from when my children were younger and then different Christmases, you know, different ones. I'm just going to put a bit of that there. Um, so, you know, I, th I think having a Christmas journal or any holiday journal, um, even if it's a summer journal or whatever, whatever the season is where you are, you know, it just is a lovely keepsake to have. Right, so we've got that stuck down. Let's go and get this stuck down. Now, I could go and pull this all off, but I can't be bothered. So <laughs> just the very loose stuff I'm pulling off. Now, if you've made yourself a false, false flap, you won't have that problem. So, <laughs> you know, there's, there's pros and cons to everything. Now, I'm going to leave this straight at both ends. I'm not going to cut a little... A notch at the bottom there you can do if you want to it's up to you but I'm just going to make this um, the same on both sides so again I'm just going to take my I think I'm going to do it this side and you don't want to go up into the fold there you know you want to be able to move this freely so let's get some glue on this little piece and 
just lift that up like that so that you have a bit of a guide as to how close to go there so I think I might just have to trim off a bit on the top so I'm just lifting it up I'm just getting it nice and flat like that there we go okay oops a little bit of glue came out there that's all right I always wipe my board down at the end of the day so that I um, get rid of most things right so I've just got my nail that's gonna lie nice and flat we can just make sure by burnishing this edge um, nice and firmly okay right um, and then it's just a case of finishing off this little bit at the top here um, and what I've got is I had a little piece I had to trim off from the edge here so I thought yes I'll use that um, I've got another little quote celebration time especially if you're going to put a photo here I thought that was perfect then I brought some green scrappy bit in I'm going to just cover that um, over there like this yeah so we can stick that down There we go. Right, so let's get that down. Again, be mindful of the edge. You don't want it to um, interfere with your uh, folding, you know, when you want this to lie nice and flat. And then I've got this little bit I'm going to put on. So just using this glue now because it seems the other one's obviously coming to the end and I need to clean out that nozzle and refill it. Um, if you've ever wondered how to clean out the nozzle or this is how I do it, I put it in a, a, a cup of boiling water and then I just um, take a pin, um, usually the glue pin that I use. This comes from Audrey Harris, Crafty Audrey on Etsy if you wanted to know. Um, and then I just clean out the tip, the nozzle and it works a treat. Right, so we've got that little bit there, sort of echoing the music element there. I'm going to stick another one of these I've cut out, um, again, from the edge there. I'm going to just put that on the end and then possibly um, just have my little message over there. So let's see, do I want it closer or, yeah, I think I'll have it like that. Right, so let's get that down. Gosh, I'm hungry. I've just realized it. <laughs> well, I suppose um, I've been so busy this morning. I haven't even thought about food. Not that I look like I need to worry about starving. But um, yeah, and <laughs> I've just hurt my tummy. So I hope you didn't. <laughs> yeah, it is um, two in the afternoon. Uh, and I would say it's time to eat something, Angela. Not good because I'm actually diabetic, but anyway, that's what happens when you get so wrapped up in what you're doing. You tend to forget about it and then I go and eat the wrong thing, you know. But I'm going to change my eating habits this um, January for sure. Right, I can't remember how I had this now, but it's going to be here. Right, um, okay, so let's get this onto our page. So let's do that. Oh, yeah, I was going to put this little button on. Just saw it in time. Okay, so I want to put this button on here. I've got a load of Fabri-Tac and I might need to. It's just, just a finishing touch, really. So it does, it's, it's going to need to sit there and, um, you know, set a bit. We'll get to that. But in the meantime, we can go and put our um, little flip together here. Right, so I think what I'm going to do is, um, oh, while I'm waiting, uh, we've got, I made a little card here. Let's come on. Made this little card that's going to slide in here. This is just from one of my mini pages. I've put in one of those little tabs that are in the add-on kit, I think. Um, and used this and backed it onto recycled packaging. 
Christmas packaging, um, if you get anything to do with like bath salts or anything, any of that, the boxes here have a lovely ivory color and I save them all and I've already cut them up. This is one of them because they make great backing card for uh, journal cards or tags. Right, so this is going to go into our little pocket over here. There we go. So a little bit more further in. There we go. So we can see that there. Um, just want to loosen this a bit. Okay, that's better. Yeah. Just want to position it properly. And I'll faff with that a little later. It can go further in, but I haven't got it quite right. I think that's more or less how it is. So it's looking really lovely. Now that bit you're not going to see. But what we are going to do is I want to make this sort of a tuck spot. So I want to um, stick that down. And that's where we're going to have our little flip part attached. Right. So the way I'm going to do that is... I'm just going to put glue on the end here. You can use tape if that's better for you. Um, down the edge here and on the end here like that. Now I'm not going to put any stenciling here because I love the lacy look there. Now I'm going to just hold this out flat um, and hopefully you can see this. I just want to see where I need to get this down. So. It's going to be there. Now, just before I, I uh, yeah, that's about it. So now I can just, I think I moved it. Mm. Let's just um, open this page up nicely. Move these ones out the way. And um, now we can just press this nice and firmly. Okay, so while that's drying there, um, you can see that you've got a lovely little tuck spot here. Now, just using this bit that I'm going to probably put in over here. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here. I've got some ideas. Um, this is going to be a lovely tuck spot over here. So you could use the rest of that sheet of paper and put in a beautiful... Um, a little card to write on over there or you could tuck in some more um, photographs stick those in there that you want to have loose um, so it's up to you all right so that's what we have done today okay everybody um, so that's what we have done today I hope that you've enjoyed it it was a very quick project but lots of fun to make and it just pretties up that page there um, brings in some different textures using up lots of scraps and really easy to do we've also recycled um, a little junk mail envelope All right have a lovely week um, I'm probably going to see you Friday so let me just think I, it should be I think it's the 31st so um, I will wish you a happy new year then properly but if I don't see you again, do have a lovely um, new year. Let's hope that 2022 is all we hope it to be, full of positivity, health and, you know, happiness. Um, and thank you guys so much. Just remember, if you haven't already, I do have an offer on the Bakery Bliss kit that's running until the end of um, the 31st of December, which is Friday you know, just before it changes to midnight um, into the new year. So go and have a look. The coupon code for that is BAKING25. So if you buy the ephemera pack, the journal pages, the add-on kit and the sentiments all together, you can use that cu that coupon code, um, the store cu coupon code and get 25% off all four of those. All right, that applies to the printed kit as well. So if you're wanting a printed kit because you don't have a printer, I have that on offer as well. Okay, everybody, stay safe. As I said, see you Friday. Give us a go um, and stay well. Bye-bye.